talk about your achievements and how great they are and uh, you know what you look forward to this year. Um, my achievements, uh, you know, I owe a lot to coming into when I when I got to Mines. Um, I had a great snapper right away. For the last three years, I had a great snapper. You know, we're, um, I'm going to have a new one this year. Um, I owe a lot to him. You know, the ball is perfect every time. You know, I owe a lot to that. It helps getting getting a good routine and just me doing what I do and him doing what he did. Um, also, a lot to owe a lot to the protection I had. Um, we rarely ever let anybody through, and uh, we've had great protection the last three years. And I assume it's going to be even better this year. Um, as far as achievements, you know, uh, I'm just I'm just thankful. You know. Uh, I, I know it's kind of hard to judge, um, judge punters. You know, you never really know. Um, you know, you know, you have wind. You have you have everything factored in. You know, sometimes you have a real short field. You know, that really affects affects you. So it's real hard to judge how good punters are unless you've actually seen them. You know, so I just I owe a lot to my coaches and uh, my my parents and my family and the guys that protect me back there. So, so that's pretty much it. Um, I think it's nice being uh, compared to them because all, all we do is hear about them. So it's definitely nice to be compared to them. Um, living up to the pressure will be a big thing, but I, I think um, I think we're ready. We've had uh, a lot of returners this year, and um, it'll be a good season for us. So we're excited and ready to go. Talk about blocking for, for Palmer over here. He was a great player for you guys last year, and uh, get to have him back, it's got to be nice. Yeah, it's great. Um, it's great to finally run the ball. Um, you know, it takes a lot of pressure off us offensive linemen. Um, Mines is known for its passing, so it's great to have a runner in the backfield and uh, makes it easy on us when, you know, he gets six yards of pop every time. So it's a lot of fun to block for him, and we're all um, really excited to have a great season this year. So. Yeah, uh, there's, def there's definitely a lot more pressure on us this year. Um, our position coach, um, Coach Scott Carey, he's, this is his second season back with us, and he's put a lot more pressure on us and definitely developed a different attitude going into this season. Um, you know, there's no more, um, I guess the right word to say would be like mediocre attitude. Like we're meant to be great, and he coaches us that way, and we got to live up to that expectations. And with Dan in the backfield, it makes it easy for us to look good. So um, Matt Brown's got... A lot to live up to, and Clay was a great quarterback. And you know, um, this is a new season, um, new year, and we'll see what happens. So, Dan, you guys are all seniors. Um, what what could be the advice you give the freshman players coming in to get them ready for the season? Oh, you know, it's a grind when you first come in. You're not exactly knowing what to expect until you actually start going through the grind. Um, it's definitely a new experience. Uh, as far as football, it's you know it's strenuous playing. You know, you're just coming from being an all-star in high school, and it's going to be really difficult to really do. So you got to be by the older guys. So it's kind of rough, but they'll they'll make it through. So do you feel any added pressure? I mean, with the new quarterback coming in, knowing they're going to rely on you just a little bit more maybe than last year, and you have to go out there and excel and make sure you take care of business. Talk about uh, you know bringing in just a couple. It was only a couple of years ago, I believe you guys were tied at top of the RMAC and uh, you know making an NCAA tournament run. And uh, just talk about trying to get that team back to, to that level again. What's it going to take this year? Well, our coach just said he's going to have some good teams that are right now. And, you know, he's a great coach for his football team. It really does a lot to bring the team together. That's why we have a starter here team that we're really love well playing with. And that's what we have right now on the offense and defense and special teams and side of the ball. So, you know, I'm really excited. Talk about 
being a senior, and this is your last year at Palo Alto High. What do you, we all hope to, you know, seniors go out with a bang. What are some of your goals, or what do you hope to accomplish this year? Well, obviously, we're going to have a great success this season. Uh, training out fast, we're going to have time, waiting for that. We've seen it with you guys four years ago. Now we're up here, so it's uh, definitely crazy. It's a real feeling, but, but I'm very excited. We've seen a great opportunity ahead of us. Obviously, fall camp hasn't even started yet, so we've got a long way to go. Any more questions? Uh, this question is for all you guys. Uh, talk, Coach talked about the depth that you guys have returning. Um, talk about how comfortable that makes you guys feel knowing that all these guys have been through the battle with you and you know what to expect out of them. Well, like Coach just said, we were pretty young last year. We uh, had some guys that have come in and stepped up. And uh, we really feel like we have what we need at every position. We're pretty really confident in the ones and the twos, which is something that, that we have. <laughs> Thank you.